It wasn't just a trap, it was gonna be a choice. You join us or feed us. There's a certain remarkable, bizarre satisfaction <laughs> that Bob is allowed to have in an unbelievably horrible situation. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you eating Jada said, Shut up! But it's exactly what those guys deserve. This is all connected. You show up, and now three of us are gone. Bob is missing, and she doesn't trust him. It's this new strange man that's come into the mix. It's his fault. He must know something about it. Where are our people? I don't have anything to do with this. Gabriel breaks down. In the congregation, but there were so many of them, and the doors were still locked. He has to come clean. The dead came for them. Entire families calling my name as they were torn apart, begging me for mercy. It's a really tragic and sad deflection. When Sasha sees Bob laying outside, Bob! there's the initial relief. Get Bob inside, we'll take care of him. She sees that his leg is gone. He's that guy, Gareth, and five other ones. Once she finds out what has happened to his leg. They were eating my leg right in front of me. It's like it was nothing. It triggers rage in her. When Bob reveals that he's been bitten, it's over. This new place that felt so good, it's done. It's gone. That's what rings in her mind. She's very conflicted because she knows that he kept the secret to protect her, to protect the special relationship that they have and this time together. It happened at the food bank. <laughs> time for a reality check. We all need to leave for DC right now. The feeling in his own head is that if you keep moving, you can keep putting things behind you. Daryl and Carol are gonna be back. We're not going anywhere without him. To Rick, this is everything. This is his family. Carol saved your life. We saved your life. I am trying to save yours. There's just no way that Abraham is gonna risk saving the world on this situation. He just can't. There's bigger things at stake. Your people took off. They're coming back. To what? Picked over bones? Not to you. Do it on my head! Behind the shock and the anger is this, who are you? You don't understand who we are. You don't get. We don't do that. Wait, 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 wait. Glenn has seen quite a bit. In spite of that, he still has a sane-ish mind frame. We need each other to get to DC. We can get through all of it together. He's about protecting the people that he loves, and I think he knows what Abraham's capable of, how strong and dangerous potentially he is. You stay and help us, and we will go with you. No, it's not your call. And if the way to ensure the group's survival is to barter himself and Maggie to go. 12 hours. That becomes a choice that he makes. Then we go. That's your last chance right now to tell us you're coming out. I hit the hinges. Put your guns on the floor. The brutality of the killing has to do with a great many things. Yes! Everything they went through in Terminus, what they did to Bob. As soon as the plan is on and it starts to play out, I'll shut down and look through him. No point in begging, right? No. There's an inevitability about that scene. It's just like, done. You don't exist. I already made you a promise. What happens with the other characters and what they're going through and how they choose to kill is their own business. It's the strangest enemy. And I think from an emotional standpoint, what they have done to our people and what they have turned into, we're sort of channeling the disgust and the hatred. These emotions are visceral, and they're unable to be contained. You're stabbing what's happened to you. You're stabbing this world. You are, right now, a symbol of all of this. It could have been us.